this secret long enough. I'm Donna and I've designed this hidden hinge pocket CD sleeve. I love washi tape too, but this hidden hinge pocket is so junky. I've designed it in both the FCM cut file for your scan and cut machine and a PDF template. It's very quick to cut on the scan and cut. I always scan it in first. I've used this tea dyed paper just to do the demo, right? It's got no pattern on it, but I'm scanning it in just to show you. It'll come up on the screen. You'll see the shape of the paper. See it there on the screen. Now I've also scanned in a pattern piece so you can see why you would scan it in. And it's also so you can see where the matte pieces would sit on the pattern piece. And this blue bit here won't print or cut. So when you press the cut button here, see how that blue text just disappears. Now it'll cut out really quickly. Uh, the glue is gone on my mat, so I had to grab that centre circle real quick because it's, when it cut out, it just released itself. I'll fix that now. My mat's no longer like this. It's nice and sticky now. See here, it takes a minute, one minute to cut this sleeve with the, this has got the pocket. It's all in one piece. This is normal copy paper. I just done it in an A3 size. I tea stained it and then I cut it down to a 12 by 12. For the window, you can use a clear window or a glassine. This is recycled packaging that I had off a large 12 by 12 sheet of dividers. So you can use anything like that for your clear window. Just make a template, a four by four square and just cut out your window. That's what the plane will look like. But what I've done here and I'm going to show you is I'm, I made my own glassine style paper and this was developed by Nick the Booksmith. I just use a light tracing paper. I print that out using Nick's printable and then I spray it one side with this clear finish and then let that dry and spray the other side. This is the Ode to Bees. It's also a printable by Nick the Booksmith. I use that in one of the CD sleeves as well. But I'll do the demo using this one here. So I'm just placing it around on top of the circle just so that I can see what pattern, where I want the pattern to fall. And I'm going to place the faux glassine on top of my template because that way I can see exactly where I want that pattern to fall. And because my template is recycled cardboard, it's quite thick, it's, it's heavy, I can just use my craft knife to cut around the edge of it. So that's cut out. Fingers crossed it's going to be in the right place. Keep the pocket piece facing the right and the window has to be glued on the other side. I'll show you two ways to glue in the window. I've done it this way first and I always seem to get a mess with the glue. I'm using the art glitter glue. I marked four corner dots from the faux glassine paper and just gluing around the edge of that. When I place that window back on top, see the glue at the top there? I seem to do that all the time. So I've got to clean it up, put some powder on it so that it doesn't stick. And then I thought there's an easier way. So this is the second way. I cut out another window and this is pre-printed vellum. This time I'm going to put my glue around the edge of the square 
turn over the template of the CD sleeve and just go around the circle and then just eyeball it, centre it and place the CD sleeve back over the top. That worked every time. I got no glue mess anywhere. It was perfect. So now we're ready to fold and glue. When you first do this fold, it does seem to be a little tricky, but once you've done it once, the second time, it just goes together easy. I use my scan and cut scraper, and I put a fold, pushing it up against my ruler. This is the back piece on folding towards the front window. Now it's best that you square this. See that line there? If you don't have this piece square, it'll be skew if and your side flap piece that you go to fold over will hit that back piece. So it's all got to be nice and square. I find you don't need to score this any other way than this, this way. It's nice and light and you don't rip your paper. I put the glue on the flap side and I'll stop short because the flap is longer than the back CD cover. So I put a little bit there on the corner. I'll just press that down. Now this is where the magic begins. This is going to be the pocket and the hinge all in one. I'm going to turn it upside down because it's just easier to work with that way. I'll crease that fold again and I'm going to square it off to the bottom and just crease the side down. See this little cutout bit there? That's so when you fold it back on itself, that shape is already pre-cut. You don't have to finish it off. So now we're going to fold it back the other way. See that line at the bottom? That's got to be square with the bottom of the CD sleeve. So just use your ruler or your board just to make sure that it is level. And crease down that fold line. See that now you've got that flap still going. We've still got one more fold to do, which is this one here. And where my left hand is, it's going to fold over towards the center of the sleeve. I'm going to turn it upside down again. It's just easier for me to work from my right hand side. And I'm going to make that fold fall right on the edge of the CD sleeve. So I'm going to put my ruler on the edge of the CD sleeve, lift it up, and see you can just see underneath so try and get as close as you can to the edge of the CD sleeve underneath, but not past it, because this needs to be hidden. And just do another crease. And fold that back in towards the center, squaring it off at the bottom. See there, it's nice, nice and square at the bottom and the sides. There's the beginning of the hinge. You heard of the valley and the mountain? Well, that's the valley down in the bottom, and this is the mountain. So we're going to, if I push that down there, see, that will be as if it's the same as the CD. So we'll just put a little bit of glue down this side here, because remember the back of the CD sleeve is shorter then the sides, so you don't want glue up too high, and just flatten that down. Do not glue these two pieces together. This is part of your hinge. We need that to be freed. You do glue inside the valley in this piece here. So put some glue in there. You don't need a real light, you don't want it to warp. 
Now your hinge is hidden and this piece magically becomes a pocket. I'll just fold the flap down so that it's out of the way and we're nearly done. But there's one more step to do before gluing it into your book. When we do glue it in, you just glue it in like a normal pocket and you can cut your thumb hole here at the top. I think some of the paper I've used today is a bit thin, so I'm just going to double it. So I've got some off cuts here of the tea stain paper. So I'm just going to glue it together. And that'll just reinforce it. Don't glue it close to the hinge because you need to be able to close that. So I've just come away from that hinged area just a tiny bit. And just trim off the excess. And that's much better. It feels a little bit heftier. Mark your set a point and put a thumb hole in it if you want one. Now we've got two pockets, one inside the CD sleeve and this one here that we've made coming off the side. Now we've got one more thing to do before we glue it into the book. we really got to put some colour on it. So we're Distress Ink the edges. Put some tape on the pocket side of it. and glue that down to the corner. Now this is a right hand CD fold. If you wanted to do it a left hand one, just flip the pattern over. If you wanted to put it on the left hand page side. And there you've got a little pocket. I'll just sit this one over the top just so you can see what it looks like with a clear window and, and some cards on the inside of that window. Now I'll show you how to use the mat because this is pretty handy if you've got a printed paper like a 12 by 12 sheet and it's printed on one side and white on the other. So when you fold it up you end up with the back piece has got the pattern on it like that and that side has the pattern on it. When I glue this side piece down these two bits here are white. So you need to cover them with a mat. So that's what the two mat pieces are for. And they, they're a little bit, the skinny one is a little bit shorter than the hinge. So keep it to the right so that it's right on the edge and you can close that hinge. So see this here, it's cut to the angle of the top. Make sure you place that in the right position. Follow that line down the side. That's the, that's the guide that you've got to follow. And it'll just miss that hinge. Put the, see how you need to keep a little gap there? So glue Put the glue directly onto the CD sleeve and then attach the mat to the sleeve. And you see I put it on crooked there. But what I'm going to do is I just turn it back inside, out, outside the other way. I tried to move it but the glue just grabbed so quick. So just turn it back the other way like this and I'll just use some Distress Ink on there and got rid of the white. And trim it up, that's deliberately left a bit longer that matte piece and that is just so that you've got that little bit of wiggle room and you trim it off. Put the Distress Ink on it and that's another one. 
and I used the glassine, the DIY glassine window in this one as well, and I, I really like this one. Okay, it's time to show you the slideshow now of a few different styles that I made. The templates to these are available on my website. I have the FCM cut file template and the PDF template for you to trace around by hand if you don't have a cutting machine. They're not expensive. They're in my download link on my website. You are able to make it up and sell it and put it in your journal, so there's no restrictions there. I know you'll be happy with it when you grab yourself one and make it up. If you like this idea and you'd like to see some more, I have a Facebook group, Junk Journal Ideas. Pop on over and join, I'd love to see you there. I'm Donna and bye for now. Stars. I wanna take a trip to Mars, nothing can break me.